This video will explain how to use the EMIS Web Protocol Launcher and will provide some practical guidance on how your practice could use this function. To access the Protocol Launcher, press F12 on the keyboard from any page within EMIS Web and the Protocol Launcher screen will display. There are two ways to launch a protocol through the launcher. The first option is to click Select and Launch, which will load the picker for you to search for any protocol that is available at your practice. Navigate to and select the required protocol by either using the search bar or navigating to the correct folder and then clicking OK and the protocol will launch. This option is designed for a single use of a protocol. If you plan to use a protocol frequently, it is recommended that you add this to your list in the launcher as I will describe now. The protocol launcher allows users to add commonly used protocols to their own list to enable quick access. To add a protocol, Right click an available letter to the protocol name list and then select add. Navigate to and select the required protocol and then click OK. The protocol is added to the launcher and from now on when you use F12 to access the protocol launcher you will then be able to select a protocol from the list simply by typing the appropriate letter and clicking enter. In this case letter A will launch the DVT clinical pathway. Alternatively you can double click on the name of the protocol. The protocols listed here can be managed by selecting the protocol and right-clicking. There is the option to edit which protocol is linked or delete a protocol from your list if you no longer require it. The refresh option will check that the latest version of that protocol is loaded into your list. You can also refresh the whole launcher by clicking the refresh button at the top. Next, we will look at a few examples of how the protocol launcher could be used. 1. Clinical protocols. Clinical protocols can be created in order to add consistent coding and medication data to a patient's record. For example, a protocol could be created for flu vaccinations that has the batch numbers inbuilt and prompts the users to add injection site and any other data that is unique to that patient. Using a protocol in this way ensures consistency in the recording of data. Although launching clinical protocols is the most common way of using protocols in EMIS, we have a few examples of other useful ways that the protocol launcher can be used to assist with other practice workload, for example, quickly finding commonly used documents. 2. Launching a document. A simple protocol can be used to launch a document, for example a clinical pathway or guideline document, and is a simple way to use protocols and the protocol launcher to gain quick access to documents. Here we have a protocol that has been set up to launch the DVT prescribing guidelines. Another example is to have a protocol that contains all your internal practice telephone numbers or other telephone directories that may be useful for users to have quick access to. It is worth noting that if someone makes changes to a document, then as long as they don't save that document as a new version, then the protocol launcher will always display the most up-to-date version. 3. Creating a letter. In the example just given, the protocol launcher is used to display useful information that is helpful to have quick access to. It can also be used to create letters. In this example, I have a protocol that launches both the DVT ultrasound scan appointment letter for the patient and a referral letter, and also has guidance built in to be displayed to the user. This shows how protocols can be used to follow clinical pathways, but a simple protocol could be set up to launch a single referral letter if required. 4. Library of resources. A protocol can be used to create a library of documents and clinical resources for the user to select from. For example, I have created a protocol to contain all of the DVT service resources and by selecting the protocol it prompts the user to select which resources they require. This is a good way for practices to organise all the information for one service. Another way this could be used is to create a library of referral letters for users to select from. This is a good way to combine the most up-to-date documents in one place and saves users from browsing through multiple folders searching for information. It is worth noting that protocols that are configured in the F12 protocol launcher screen are personalised to the user that is logged in. There is no way to configure the protocol launcher for other users within your practice. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more about how to create a protocol in EMIS Web, please see the EMIS Web Protocol Builder video on the How To website. The video, Configuring EMIS Web, A Clinician's Guide, also offers further guidance on how to personalise your EMIS Web system.